Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate the gradient tool in Photoshop Elements. So first of all, I'm going to open a file, file, open, and choose the photograph, and open that in Photoshop. Now, the sky, not too bad, it could be a little bit darker, but the foreground is quite dark and could do with lightening up. So I'm going to use the gradient tool. First of all, before I introduce the gradient tool, I'm going to duplicate the background so we can work on a layer and not the background. So I'll go to press Ctrl and J, which gives you a duplicate layer. Then click on the gradient tool. We'll look down at the gradient tool at the bottom here and it's on black and white, which is the one I want at the moment. So going to go to the top of the photograph, left click on the mouse, and then drag down to the bottom of the photograph and release. And then go up to the layers panel and where it says normal, normal blending mode, go to change the blending mode to overlay. When you do that, you can see now it's darkened the sky but lighten the foreground. I'll just click that layer off and show the effect. So that's with the gradient tool and that's without. Okay. So now I'm going to change it slightly and change the color of the gradient tool. So we'll get rid of that layer first of all and duplicate the layer again because we don't want to work on the background. Go to the gradient panel at the bottom there, change it from there to this one, which is like a purple and orange. And the same again, go to the top of the photograph, drag it down to the bottom. You can see the effect now. I'm going to change the blending mode again to overlay. There we are quite start now. Now, that may look odd at the moment, but if we reduce the opacity on that layer, there, get it down to around about 23%. There, or even lower. There. So now, it's warmed up the foreground and has quite a pleasing effect on the photograph. So now we can go to save that, like that there, save as, and if you save it in that folder as a JPEG, there, I want to change the file name, so I'll just put adjusted, okay, and save that, and there we are. Right, that's okay. Thank you.